good morning and thank you for joining me at Online Storytime with the Physical Public Library. My name is Amanda and I'm going to sing some songs and read a book to you today. Now, just like in-person story time, little ones are meant to enjoy story time online with the grown-ups so you guys can learn the songs together and enjoy the books together. Let's get started by singing The More We Get Together. We'll sing it two times, so if you don't know it, you can listen the first time and then sing the second time. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my Today, I'm going to share some books with you about homes and houses. There are all sorts of different kinds of homes. There are houses, and there are apartments, and duplexes, and mobile homes, all sorts of kinds. The most important thing, of course, is that it's filled with people you love. And animals, they live in some really unique kind of homes. Let's look at some different animal homes and see if you can guess who lives inside. We're going to start with this one. This is a hive and it hangs from a tree. What kind of animal do you think lives in a hive? It's a bee. What sound does a bee make? That's right, they go buzz. I like doing that, it kind of tickles my lips though. Let's see what animal home we have next. Next, we have lily pads floating in the water. So what kind of animal lives in a nice pond with lily pads on top? Hmm. Did you guess a frog? Good job. What color is our frog? That's right, he's green. Next. We have a cave. Let's guess what kind of animal could live in a cave. There's different kinds, of course, that can live in there. But this guy is big and furry and he likes to hibernate all winter. Did you guess that it's a bear? Yes, there he is. He likes to curl up in that cave to hibernate. We've got one more to guess. This one is a coop. What kind of animal lives in a coop and lays eggs? Did you guess a chicken? Good job! It's time to read our book now. Next, we're going to read a book by Denise Fleming. This is The Nest That Robin Built. Thank you to Simon & Schuster for giving us permission to read this book today. This is the nest that Robin built with a little help from her friends. This is the squirrel who trimmed the twigs not too big that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the dog who brought the string love long and strong that wraps around the twigs not too big that anchor the nest that Robin built. I feel like I missed a page. Me No, I didn't. I realized it doesn't help. Okay, I'm gonna just start from the title page again. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. This is the nest that Robin built with a little help from her friends. This is the squirrel who trimmed the twigs not too big that anchor the nest that Robin built. 
This is the dog who brought the string long and strong that wraps around the twigs not too big that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the horse who shared his straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the pig who mixed the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the mouse who gathered the weeds dotted with seeds that bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the rabbit who picked the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. And these are the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that pastures the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchors the nest that Robin built. And these are the nestlings, tufted in pink, that cracked the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. And this is the Robin who built the nest. Anchored with twigs, not too big, wrapped with string, long and strong, covered with straw, rough and tough, plastered with mud, soft, not soupy, bound with weeds, dotted with seeds, cushioned with grass, fresh and sweet, who laid the eggs, brittle and blue, cracked by nestlings, tufted and pink. Now young fledglings, rumpled and ruffled and ready to fly. Good. Bye. The end. I hope you enjoyed hearing about how Robin built her nest for her little fledglings. Don't forget, you can put that book on reserve in the catalog if you want to check it out. Next, we're going to sing a counting song about houses. Well, let's get started. We have one house here and it's purple. Let's see. We're going to see how this neighborhood grows. One little house all alone it stood. Then along came another. There grows the neighborhood. Two little houses together they stood. Along came another. There grows the neighborhood. Now, three little houses, together they stood. Along came another. There grows the neighborhood. How many houses do we have now? One, two, three, four. Four houses. Now let's see what happens next. Four little houses, together they stood. Along came another, and there grows the neighborhood, so beautiful and strong. So 
Sometimes we get new neighbors, we get new houses being built, especially in Pflugerville, lots of new houses being built. And that is how we build a neighborhood. Let's get started with our next song. I think you guys are gonna like this one. All right, next we're gonna sing one of my favorite songs by Jim Gill. We're gonna do the freeze dance. Now for this song, I'm sitting down so I can play my ukulele, but I want you to stand up because you are gonna be dancing and jumping to this song. So I need you to make sure you have space around you so you don't bump into anything and don't knock over your computer or your phone. Here we go. The way this song works is I'm gonna play a song and while I'm playing, I want you to dance, dance, dance as much as you can. But when I say freeze, you have to stop and freeze as still as a statue like this. Can you do that? All right, let's get started. Next, you guys, we're gonna jump. So this time I want you to jump as high as you can. Ready? Here we go. Jump as high as you want to. Jump as high as you please. Jump as high as you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Did you freeze? Good job. All right, now this time I want you to run in place. Fast as you can. Here we go. Run as fast as you want to. Run as fast as you please, run as fast as you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Good job. Now this time we're gonna do, we're gonna dance again. This time I want you to dance as fast as you can. Here we go. Dance as fast as you want to, dance as fast as you please, dance as fast as you want to. Now we're gonna dance super slow. Dance as slow as you want to. Dance as slow as you please. Dance as slow as you want to. Stop when I say Too. Here we go, last one. Dance as much as you want to. Dance as much as you please. Dance as much as you want to. But stop when I say please. Good job! <laughs> you did awesome at that! I hope you had fun. Next, I'm gonna show you a couple of good books that I think you should check out that reminds me, remind me of home. The first book that I wanna show you today is Quiet by Kate Alizade. I love this book because it reminds you of all the sounds you hear around your house. So I want you today, while you're at your home, I want you to listen, so be very quiet, and I want you to listen and see if you can hear all the sounds in your house. And then you can check this book out from the library and see if you heard any of the same ones as this little kiddo. The other book that I have to show you is called Grandma's Tiny Home. This book is by Janae Brownwood and it's illustrated by Pris Priscilla Burris. And I love this book so much because it reminds me of my grandma's house and her tiny little house and her tiny little kitchen and all the family and friends that would gather there with all the yummy food and it's good memories. So I think you'll enjoy this book too. So you should put both of these on reserve in the library catalog and check them out. All right, for your craft today for story time, we're going to be building a little house. And this one's a little bit tough, but I think you guys can do it. So first you'll get your house frame. And you'll need to fold it a couple extra times right there and fold it right here. And then you can glue it together right here or tape it. Tape might be easier. And then this part here will be your roof you fold it and put it on top. And then you can decorate it, like in the picture, with a heart and a door. There you go. 
Now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for staying with me today through story time to read a book and sing songs and play the freeze dance. So let's say goodbye. Let's give our big waves. Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. On another day. See you later.